Parliament was in Cape Town last week shooting scenes for the prequel to the seven series of 24. Now sadly we didn't get a chance to speak to him while he was here, but we did get an exclusive invitation onto the set. So without further ado, let's take a look behind the scenes on 24, the movie. It's set in a fictional country in Africa and will reportedly bridge the gap between the sixth and seventh seasons of 24. Well, Sam. Well, our Africa takes place in a country named Singala, which doesn't exist for those of you that don't know your geography. <laughs> Basically, there's a coup there, and there's a rebel army, and, and our character, Jack Bauer, is in Africa when all that happens. And really interesting for our audience, because he's never been anywhere but L.A., so this is going to be a whole new 24. Cut! Yeah. Producers decided to make the prequel as a result of the recently resolved writer's strike, which shut down several productions in the U.S. Because of the writer's strike, we got delayed a whole year. And so suddenly there was this open gap, and we've been off the air for so long, we're thinking, we better get something out there so people remember who we are. And we thought, wow, what a great opportunity. Let's do this two-hour TV movie. Aside from the show's long-running stars, the movie will also feature several African actors, including Hakim K. Kazim, who plays fictitious African leader Colonel Dubako. Actually, it was quite interesting because uh, I been in for several interviews for them and I've referred for different parts and every time over the year that I've been there they called me in about four or five times and uh, every time you know uh, it wasn't this time it wasn't this time and the last time they sort of called me in and then offered me a part and then wrote the part out and I thought okay that's the end of it for that season and then I got about three weeks later I got a call and they said uh, yeah, we just want you to play this, this character for a couple of episodes. He embraced the role right away and uh, it's really interesting because on 24 basically because we write as we go if an actor comes in and embraces the role and really starts to make it something we write more for them so so you're gonna see a lot of Hakeem if you're a Hakeem fan uh, when you watch 24 this year he did such great work in that character uh, in, in the character that he plays that Dubaku that he runs through a lot of it. Producers say that so far the experience of shooting in South Africa has been good, despite the challenging weather in Cape Town. It's been fantastic. And I've shot in a lot of different places. We've found the crews are just fantastic. The local acting talent is great. So it's, it's been good. And if you're wondering about that black eye... Oh, my wound. <laughs> you tell us what happened? It's a very good Africa story, actually. We were at a reserve to see some animals, and at the end of the day, we went to see the lions, and they fed them chickens, but we were kind of hanging with the owners, Kiefer, and a bunch of friends. And uh, they said, you know, you can forget that rail that's there. Just step right in and get right beside the cage to take a real good picture. I'm a photographer. And I got right in and put the lens actually right through the fence, at which point the male lion decided, I don't want you here, and came at me so quickly that without even thinking, I went over the rail that was behind me and smacked myself with the camera. But I did know that there was a, a little, you know, a wire that keeps them away from the fence, but I didn't know that. So, so I just went, and now I can say I was attacked by a lion, and this is what happened. It's, it's pretty good now, actually. It's a cool it's, wound. It's, it's a good wound. It's, it's a good wound. And I got the picture of the lion looking at me just before he attacked. That's actually the best part. Yep, Africa's dangerous. Stay with us after the break. Kelly Rowland